Presenting the first bout in men's 81 kilogram light heavyweight. The judges are Ecuador, Morocco, Brazil, Canada, Colombia. Vamos à primeira luta da categoria meio pesado masculino até 81 quilos. Os juízes são representantes do Equador, Marrocos, Brasil, Canadá e Colômbia. The referee from Cuba. O árbitro é representante de Cuba, senhor José Del Puerto Cueva. Please welcome the boxer in the red corner, representing Uzbekistan. Por favor, recebam o pugilista que ficará no campo vermelho, representante do Uzbekistão. É o show Hazulov. So we move up to the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division, and there is the tournament number three seed, Elshad Razilov. From Please Uzbekistan. welcome the boxer in the blue corner, representing Great Britain. Recebam também o pugilista que ficará no canto azul, representante da Grã-Bretanha, Joshua Boatzi. And here comes Great Britain's Joshua Boatzi, a really impressive winner in his opening contest. Here he is in the second preliminary round of the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division, Gary Hale and Paul Wormsley with the final instructions ahead of this, his second contest of Rio 2016. He looked in fantastic condition and shape for the first one, Boatzi, against Kennedy Katanda of um, Uganda. It was a terrific performance, really got to grips with it. So let's hope he can continue that type of form. The boxer in the red corner, representing Uzbekistan. Apresentando o pugilista no canto vermelho, que representa o Uzbekistão, é o chute, Hazelor. Introducing the boxer in the blue corner, representing Great Britain. E apresentando o pugilista no canto azul, que representa a Grã-Bretanha, Joshua Boatzi. Head up, no holding, no lock rope. Okay? Good luck. Round one. Primeiro round. So the opening bell sounds to begin the first of a scheduled three three-minute rounds in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division. A man wearing blue who has come out very fast indeed and introduced himself to his opponent with a good right hand to the chest is Joshua Boatzi, 23 years of age, from South London. The South Norwood and Victory Boxing Club is where he learned the noble art. His opponent wearing red is a three-time Olympian, Elshad Razilov of Uzbekistan. Ranked number th six in the world, the tournament number three seed. He's a two-time quarter finalist. At 75 kilograms, middleweight in Beijing and at light heavyweight. Last time out in London, this is his first bout of the tournament by virtue of that number three seeding. And it's a good counter left hand by the man in red, despite being near the neutral corner. Positive start from Boatzi, this is Razalov. Southport, likes the time, likes the space, moves around the ring. You've got to deny him those things that he wants, that time and space. So you've got to get on your front foot, close that gap down. And that's what Joshua Boatzi is doing here. So it's a positive start, but he's got to maintain it. It's got to be sustained pressure. Good guard as you're going forward. But try and target getting this bloke onto the ropes. This boxer rather, onto the ropes and into the corners. And that's what Boatzi's got to do. Boatzi was terrific in his opening round contest against the two-time Olympian Kennedy Katandi of Uganda. Great performance, body shots, hurting the man repeatedly, and ultimately he forced a stoppage in the third round. And he's come out with similar intent here. Good left hand to the body from Rajlov, but a terrific counter left hook upstairs by Buetsi. But make no mistake, this represents a really tall order for Boatzi. Good left hand by Radulov, and again, repeated success with that straight southpaw left. Boatzi covering up, 
just allowing his senses to clear. That's a cracking uppercut underneath from the man in red. Good portion of the round for the tournament number three seed. Just got caught with a good shot there, Boazzi, but he's recovered now. Probably got to move his head a little bit more and keep that front foot pressure on. Move the head as he's going forward to avoid the shot. And don't let this fella get into his own rhythm. You've got to keep that pressure on. Sensible pressure. That's what he's got to do. That's a better shot from Boatsy. So Boatsy trying to measure his man with the jab, but this is a really fleet-footed individual, Elshad Rajilov. Almost perpetual motion around the perimeter of the boxing ring. Again, he's just making Boatsy fall short and picking him off as the British boxer advances. Positive start by Boatsy, but my goodness, did Elshad Rajilov find his rhythm and timing as that round progressed. It was a good start from Boatsy, he was on that front foot. I mean, he started the round very positively indeed. I'm a bit surprised with the referee here, in that Razlov occasionally just holding on a little bit too much. Good ball work, work to the body there from um, Boatsy, but gets caught occasionally with that left hand, and there was a section of the round, like you said, Ronald. He got caught with a couple of good straight left hands. But Raz, let's look at the scores. Second zone. Boatsy, two judges to one. They prefer that front foot pressure. Round two. Segundo round. So into the second round we go then. And Joshua Boatsy, the British boxer wearing blue, ranked number 18 in the world, has taken the opening round for two of the three judges, judges A and C, prefer preferring his educated, effective front foot aggression to the back foot boxing skills and punch picking of Elshad Rajilov. He took it for judge B. Positive start once again from Boatsy, immediately onto that front foot and looking to find his man with hard, hurtful punches. Better referee in, just saying to Razlov, don't hold on. Good start again from Boatsy. Just got to watch it as he approaches, move the head a little bit more, but can try and control the distance with the jab and push this fella back. Double up the attacks now again, Josh Boatsy here. Joshua Boatsy, the reigning European Championship bronze medalist. He hasn't been on the international boxing scene for very long, but he's made a terrific impact as the man from South Croydon. Garnering medals in competitions and working away well to the body once again. Terrific two-shot salvo, hurting the man in red who is keen to hold on. Now, like I said, Ronald, I'd like to see the referee be a little bit more sterner here. Razlov. Seemingly, most opportunities he gets, he holds on after Joshua Bratz has landed a couple of good shots. But again, positive stuff from Boatsy, good stuff. Most certainly, he's on the front foot once more, and look at the man initiating the clinch. It's Razilov, because he took a couple of hard shots downstairs and right back into the pocket, steps Boatsy. Good portion of the round for the man in blue. Razilov looking to re-establish his rhythm, and does so with a good reverse one-two combination. Effective left hand with the man leaning back onto the ropes. What Boatsy's got to do here also, Ron, is, is hit this fella downstairs, target the body, because he's a good mover. And with any good mover, if you hit him downstairs, hurt him, slow those feet down. Lovely shot, Boatsy. Cracking right hand from Boatsy causes Rajilov just to lose his boxing stance momentarily. And the fleet-footed dancer is being drawn into toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges here. This favours the man in blue. Despite that... Despite his relative inexperience in senior international boxing, he's mixed it with all of the top boys at 81 kilogram Boatsy. Valuable experience in the bank, sharing the ring with Taymor Mamadov, with Julio Cesar La Cruz of Cuba. And he's acquired all of that now, and he's acquitting himself fantastically here. Now, bear in mind that judges A and C preferred the work of the man in blue. And for my money, this has been an even more impressive round to date. So if that's rewarded, we could be on the cusp of a terrific upset and a really significant British victory. If Boatsy can sustain it. 
terrific round of boxing from Joshua Boatsy. And that is right why he raised that right fist as he returned to the corner and the coaching and instruction of Paul Wormsley and Gary Hale. I thought there were some terrific shots that went in there from Boatsy. This fellow now is feeling it a little bit. He's done a lot of work on the outside, remember. But I think he's been hurt downstairs a couple of times from Boatsy, who's targeted the body. Here, Razlov just coming forward. Good movement to the head from Boatsy and re returns with that right hand. Let's have a look. There's that body shot. That's a super punch. Then he switches upstairs with the right hand. But it's the left hook to the body that's probably done the damage there and slowed his man down a little bit. So a good round for Boatsy, but let's see the scores. And it's 10-9 across the board in favour of Joshua Boatsy. He is in a really commanding Second position, south. leading by two points for judges A and C. It's all square for judge come on, B. Come on, come on, round three. Tercero round. So as we move into the third and final round of this 81 kilogram light heavyweight bout in the second preliminary round, the man wearing blue, Joshua Boatsy, is the boxer in the ascendancy. Because after shading the opening round, two judges to one for judges A and C, he took the second round in unanimous fashion, which means he's got a commanding two-point advantage for judges A and C, it's all square for judge B. Rajilov needs a massive round, a 10-8 round, just to get back on terms. And Joshua Boatsy is on the cusp of what would be one of the most significant victories in the history of British Aiba Open Boxing. What's important now for Boatsy is he keeps the work rate very high. So raise the tempo here because you could force this guy to hold on. The referee keeps telling him, remember, stop holding. If he, if he tells him time and again, he may just give him a warning. So what Boatsy's got to do, raise the tempo. Put him under pressure on that front foot. Keep it going. Oh, should Rajalov. Oh, working right hand. Sends Rajalov down to the canvas. His eyeballs were in orbit. He's caught hey. above the right eye, and he appears to be in real trouble. We're approaching the midpoint of the third and final round, and Joshua Boatsy is looking for his second successive stoppage here at Rio 2016. Rajalov is all over the place. He doesn't know where he is. A second count. Well, that's what we needed from Josh Bawatsi, raising the tempo and hitting his opponent with powerful shots like that. Tremendous stuff, and he's going for it again. What a blistering combination. Joshua Bawatsi has just steamrolled his way into the quarterfinals of the light heavyweight tournament with a terrific display, knocking out Elshad Rajalov, the sixth-ranked boxer in the world. The tournament number three seed has been annihilated by a terrific punching display from Joshua Boatsy. He is now one win away from a place on the medal podium. But let's get this into context. Joshua Boatsy, the 18th ranked boxer in the world, has just produced a stunning upset to eliminate a man who has won six medals at Aiba World Championships over the years. He came in ranked number six in the world. He's the tournament number three seed. To give you an idea of how big a star he is, he was the flag bearer in London 2012 for his nation. But how about that for a right hand? Tremendous stuff and also the left hook. Look at that for a punch. And let's, let's face it, Ronald, it wasn't as if it was a lucky punch. He was winning this contest. He was beating this fella who was favourite to beat Joshua Boatsy here. But Boatsy has produced the performance of his career. Tremendous stuff, power punching, good tactics. Let's bring in the coaches as well. They've played their part. Paul Wormsley, Gary Hale, they've got it spot on. Tremendous performance, Boatsy. What a fantastic display by this man. He's got talent, he's got the temperament, he's got the self-belief, and he has just produced a devastating display to eliminate the tournament number three seed. Let's get the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by knockout. Senhoras e senhores, o vencedor por knockout, no canto azul. In the blue corner. Representante da Grande Penha, Joshua Boatsy.
Joshua Boazzi had just romped into the final eight of the 81 kilogram light heavyweight tournament here in Rio 2016 with one of the most significant